Alrighty, uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, uh, this is Nash Sports Lawyer here, welcome back to a brand new video, as today, um, I'm going to do my 2022, uh, NRL, uh, NRL Tosh Apprenticeship, round 7, uh, Newcastle Knights versus Premier Eels review, uh, 39 points to 2, when it was an absolute, uh, bloodbath, and let's get into it, so obviously, um, in the first couple minutes there, uh, it was a bit of a, uh, back and forth there from, you know, uh, the Knights there, where you can see that the first penalty there, uh, from the second effort there from, from, uh, from Nathan Brown, you know, obviously Mitchell Moses, uh, he got a line break there in the fourth minute, but, um, we've got first, uh, line drop out there, and then, uh, and then the Knights, uh, they were inside, um, I'm out, I'm out 10 there, and then obviously they got the penalty over there, and Jake Clifford makes it 2-0, and then uh, a couple minutes left. Um, uh, we got the ball back uh, after I I tied some Brazil there. Uh, made a flop there, and then we get more position there. And then uh, Sean Lane um, on the light. Um, I'm on the left side there. Uh, gets I uh, gets a I'm um, gets a tuck break there. He offloads it off to Hayes program to make it four points to two. And Mitch Moses converts it make to make it six points to two there. And then um, on the um, and then on the tr and then on the twenty ninth minute there, uh, Hayes Perman gets a line break there to make it ten points to two. Uh, once again, getting a double there on the left side there. Um, after you know, uh, um, after the Knights are uh, giving away much more uh, easier um, um, easier uh, position there, and uh, yeah. Uh, Mitch Moses, Mitch Moses converts to make it four points to two, and then on the and then on the first six minute, um, Ty's result um, uh, gets penalised once again, but this time for an early tackle there, which it was which it was um offside there inside the ten, and then we get much more ball once again, which is more poor discipline there from from the Newcastle Knights, and then Mitch Moses. Uh, uh, takes a penalty shot there to make it 14 points to two, and then um, from on, uh, from uh, from on, from from uh, from onwards there, uh, it uh, it was nearly half time, and then Mitch Moses uh, decides to go for for the, uh, for the field goal before half time, and he misses it. So um, yeah, half time there, uh, Paramount up by 14 points to two, and then um, over there. Uh, uh, Dylan Brown uh, makes a line break there uh, to make uh, to make it eighty points to two. It was a fantastic uh, try there from uh, uh, from Dylan Brown there uh, getting a step there um, underway there, and uh, Mitch Moses Mitch Moses converts it to make it twenty two points to two. And then Bram and Best there, uh, he gets a long, he um, he gets a line break there, tries to find um, uh, Edric Lee there, you know, um, on. I'm on the right, uh, sorry, no, um, uh, on the left side there, uh, from himself, but Edric Lee, he knocks on the ball there, and the Knights get much more ball there, uh, fr uh from themselves. Jake, uh, Jacob Arthur, he puts on the bomb kick there, and then, to, and then, once again, Newcastle in the second half, once again, uh, uh, having much more poor, uh, discipline, and give away much more position to us. Uh, easy, uh, easy position, position, and then Mitchell Moses, uh, which, uh, which I actually thought, um, uh, we had the confidence to actually, you know, score for to to like score a try there. He decides, uh, to make it twenty two points to two. In my opinion, I think, uh, that's a pretty, uh, soft, um, uh, decision, uh, decision there, uh, be made, be made there from Mitchell Moses, and um, yeah. I reckon that uh, Mitch Moses could have, um, you know, did much more better uh, with that uh, uh, decision there, and we could have gone for, for the try uh, to make it uh, twenty four points to two, or yeah, and you know, could could convert to make it twenty six points to two as well, and but but uh, nevertheless, um, Isaiah Papali he makes a line break there um, on the right hand side. Um, I thought he was gonna be uh, uh, I held up there. But Newcastle's defense, 
here, it started getting absolutely disgusting. It was such a soft, soft try, to be honest, um, um, as a Paramount fan myself. It was just an absolute soft try, I'm saying to myself. Mate, Newcastle are not com competing fuck all over here. You know, um, in the first half, man, um, w we actually missed uh, much more tackles uh, than the new... Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Newcastle Knights themselves, and uh, and 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 in the post con and in the post match uh, uh preview there from uh, uh from uh Ralph himself, he said from uh the interview there, uh during uh a Fox Fox lead there saying that uh we're gonna make sure that uh we need to we we need to not we need to make sure uh we make uh every single uh, tackle there. And you know it's not really hard to make a simple job there to not uh, miss tackle there. Uh, that many tackles, which we still managed to do uh, in the first half. And Newcastle just you know it, it didn't took that um, um, as an advantage there in the second half. And yeah, I have no idea uh, uh, what um uh, what Adam uh, what um uh, Adam um. Um, Brian there was doing the um I'm in half time uh, in the sheds there, but whether it is mate uh, Adam uh, uh, Adam um Brian mate mate if you keep it going like this then it's gonna be like uh, Nathan Brown uh twenty uh twenty nineteen um all over again uh, that's my take um on uh um I'm Brian there in the second half but um. Oh man, uh, moving on, um, so, it's trying, so, uh, so it's trying to points to, uh, Joe Clifford goes for the bomb there, but, um, uh, Gufferson takes a well there, you know, um, and then, um, in, in the 66th minute there, um, Isaiah Papali makes a 32 points to two, once again, it was another, uh, soft try there from, uh, from Isaiah Papali and, um, you know, man, it, it was just a poor, poor. It was just poor effort there from from Newcastle Knights. No communication, uh, no uh, energy, and no courage there uh, to really give um, their respect. Uh, so, uh, so no, uh, to give you know, uh, um, uh, the Zach's and the fans uh, some, uh, some, uh, our, our, our respect there at home. And then Mitch Moses uh, misses the goal there. And then um, uh, Edric Lee, he uh, knocks on the ball there. And once again, the Newcastle Knights are giving away much more easier uh, position there for the Eels. It just keeps on going on and on and on. You know, oh, this review. Listen, look, man, I know I should be happy with the win, but to be honest, man, if you're a Newcastle Knights fan, you should be absolutely disappointed right now. Listen, look, I don't really like the, uh, the Knights to be honest, uh, for some um, uh, for some reasons uh, that I won't that I don't want to like um, go on since we're gonna since I don't want to be you know all night and um, yeah man, um, we'll yeah we'll put a he he gets uh. Uh, he gets a try there to make a 36 points to two. And then Mitch Moses uh, converts it to make a three points to two. And um uh, uh Edric Lee. He gets he gets the error there. And then uh the Premier Eels uh are very ref uh, our referee there. Uh, uh, uh the challenge uh it is successful. And um I thought we got a bit lucky there uh from a challenge there. Uh, from, uh, who was it who pushed him into, uh, touch, um, I think it was, uh, who was it, I think it was, uh, uh, Hayes Perham, uh, who actually, uh, took him, um, in, um, into touch there, uh, correct me, um, if I'm wrong in the comment section below, uh, and yeah, I thought, you know, uh, you know, that, uh, uh, that, uh, that Edric Lee's, um, you know, our shoulder, uh, in the board itself, you know, uh, 
I touched the ground there. And the referee did uh, call it um, held there. And um, uh, right before uh, someone dragged him um, um, into touch there. And it should be plenty there f uh, for the Knights, to be honest. But um, yeah, it was uh, successful there for the Knights. So um, yeah, we've got to be lucky um, uh, to, uh, uh, to carry away uh, with that. But it didn't really matter. As uh, Will Pinicini, uh makes an awful uh, backflip pass there to uh, Hayes Prem, uh, 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 anyways, and um, yeah, uh, and it was on and on, and then um, in the seventh night, um, and in the seventh ninth minute, Mitch Moses uh, uh decides. To make it clean here, and he plots over to make the field goal there to make a thirty nine points to two there for the Premier Eels, and um, yeah, I, uh, I, 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 it ends off at full time the Premier Eels thirty nine points to two, and uh, yeah, um, obviously um, I uh, look at the stats there, um, as well, uh, we have had fifty nine percent of um, of uh, possession there, Newcastle um, has had 41 uh, possession there as well, and our completion rate was actually pretty decent. Uh, looking at it right now, uh, we have had 85% uh, com uh, completion rate, uh, completing 35 um, L41, Newcastle completing uh, 67%, which um, it isn't the best, but it's not really you, you know the worst. Uh, you know, complete twenty three. Um, um, L three four. Okay, it's it's bad, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's been many worse. Uh, complete. Uh, our completion rates. Um, out there in the past. So um. Yeah, they got a lot of uh worked. Uh, they got a lot of uh things to work. With. Uh, um, I will. I with that. Um, ASAP. All runs, Newcastle 142, um, us 204. F uh, for the Newcastle Knights, uh, they have had 1,232 uh, running uh, running meters there. We have had 1,980 uh, um, all running meters there. And post-contact meters there, Knights 451, us 701. We've made eight line breaks, Newcastle made two. Tackle breaks, we've made 39, Newcastle made 22. Let's see um, how many missed tackles there were in the second half here. Okay, so kick, so kick, uh, defusal. Okay, so, okay, so second half uh, wasn't a bad. So second half, um, so in the first half, obviously, um, um, as, um, as I said before, we have made 17 uh, missed tackles in the first half. And obviously in the second half, uh, we have only made about like five missed tackles, which is uh, much more better uh, uh, than it was, you know, uh, in the first half. Newcastle, though, uh, they've missed uh, 39 uh, missed tackles there, which uh, uh, was pretty poor uh, for, uh, for themselves. And um, yeah, got a couple um, of um, of, uh, of um, easy... Uh, um, some are uh, good, um, easy and sloppy, uh, uh intercepts there, uh, from themselves. Newcastle getting, um, 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 11, uh, uh, errors there. And we have got six errors there, f uh, from themselves as well. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, I will, I proving, uh, with, uh, with the errors there, uh, from themselves. And, um, yeah, let's see um the best players, um my top five uh best players. So um, you know, I can end this because uh to be honest, man, it's a it's an it's an easy dub, but uh in my opinion um you know, I reckon um if the, um if the Newcastle Knights were a bit more competitive, then we we then we could have seen more uh from the Premier Eels and they could have got tested. Uh, a little bit more there for uh, for, uh, from the Knights, but not really much to really take much um into this match in, um into the Eels. It was just Newcastle just like uh, giving away to me um easy easy position there.
discipline poor. Uh, lean and Newcastle just uh, uh just uh, uh lean, um you know um into uh too many uh soft tries um uh, going um against them. And uh yeah. All right, so um, so the top five best players there for the Knights. Well, uh, it's a tough one, man. I'll say um the best ever player um out there. I I have to say maybe uh, uh that um Edric Lee was possibly uh the the best ever player out there. You know, uh he got about like twenty uh, twenty one uh, more runs. Um, 195. Um, 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 all brain meters there. Got 63 kick, kick return meters, which isn't that bad. He made 64 post contact meters, five tackle breaks, one hit ups, and two offloads. You know, he, yeah, he was pretty decent tonight. Uh, uh, so, so, uh sorry. Uh, uh, afternoon as I am uh recording this, um, at night time right now. And yeah, um, uh, Edric Lee, you know, I think uh, he was a much more um, active player there um, on the wing there. Uh, number two, uh, Kenneth Ponga, I think he was pretty good, even though, you know, uh, I, w I do want to talk about, you know, in the first half, uh, about like uh, Kenneth Ponga uh, getting, um, uh, getting uh, pushed away there from uh, Remani there, which uh, he barely did. But uh, but the reason why he still got you know caught up uh, caught off there uh, for uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a head injury there. Uh, once Avery Mani pushed him, uh, Kevin Ponga falling down. But but if you can see uh, closely when he just fall down, uh, Kevin Ponga, um, the most uh, the most uh, unluckiest moment there, unfortunately. Uh, Pongo uh, uh, falling down and he and his guys are uh, head uh, being a uh, knee there from uh, Wolpensini, which is pretty ugly uh, to be honest. So uh, yeah, uh, he had to go off uh, uh, from scans there in the first half, but he came back on. It was all fine, and still the Knights were shit, and it's still the and and it's still. With with Caleb Pong in there, which um I uh, brought I was I was really I was I uh, really I uh, worried about about uh, Caleb Pong in there. Didn't even score a try. None of them. Not even I'm um, I'm Edric Lee. The Newcastle Knights are supposed to be our bogey team. Um at Newcastle, but. The Divas score tried this time. I mean, uh, the last time, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, without Pierce and without Ponga, at least they scored a try, but it just scored a penalty goal, and that's it, no tries. And this was with Ponga. And I know, and I know that uh, Pierce is not there, but at least that uh, uh, Clifford and um and Clune were going pretty well, but they still couldn't score a try. Are you kidding me? Like, like this was uh like this was like uh, Newcastle's like um uh four hundred game. I'm not sure uh what it was, but my god, the uh the competitiveness from uh, fr uh, fr uh from the Newcastle Knights was terrible, terrible. I say, absolutely just uh hideous defense tonight from uh, uh, uh from the Newcastle Knights. You know um as you know. Anyways, uh, back to uh, back to uh, the top five uh, best uh, players for uh, for the Knights. Uh, so yeah, so so number one, Edric Lee. Number two, uh, Ken Ponga. Number three, I'm gonna go with um. Uh, this is hard to pick. Uh, uh, I'll go with um. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tyson Frizzell. He you can see that some 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 bad penalties there. Uh, I'll go with um. Let's go with uh Jake Clifford. Uh, you know, you know. Um, I actually thought uh Jake Clifford uh uh was actually uh not a bad uh with his uh, king game there. 
But, um, you know, he, he tries best there. Number four, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Bremen Best. And uh, number five, well, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I'll go with um, uh, Jacob, uh, Jacob uh, Saifidi. Why not? And, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Pretty poor. Um, actually, no, you know what? I'll go with uh, uh, Talala there, actually, for uh, number five. Actually, no, I think I'll switch maybe uh, Bremen Best and Talala there. For the, uh, uh, for the top five, so yeah, let's move on because uh, this is because uh, you know it's it's not really that much game to really judge, to be honest. All right, so uh, top five best players for the Eels, I go with uh, number one. I think I'll go with uh, Sean Lane. There, um, with Sean Lane, yeah. So he made uh, one try there. He made sixty four uh, uh fancy points there. I actually no, you know what? Mm, you know what? In my opinion, you know what? I think I'm gonna give uh the match to um Isaiah Pabli. I'm gonna give Isaiah Pabli number one. I'll go with our number two. Uh you know what? I'll give number two to um Mitchell Moses maybe. No, you know what? I'll f yeah, Moses. Yeah, why not, uh, Mitchell Moses, uh, number three, I'll give it to, um, actually, no, you know what, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give it to, uh, Mitchell Moses, uh, number two, uh, number three, I'll give it to, um, who was just going in the game, uh, I'll give it to, uh, um, Sean Lane, I thought, you know, I thought he was uh, pretty good. Um, I'm an attack over there. And number four, I'll give it to uh, Remani. Number five, um, I'll give it to uh, Clinton Gufferson there. Uh, actually, no, you know what? Sorry, my bad. So I'll give... Um, hang on a sec. Uh, uh, let me do it again. So number one, um, I'll give it to uh, uh, Papa Lee there. Number... So no, number one, probably number two, um, Remani number three, uh, uh, Dylan Brown, uh, number four, I'll give it to uh sh to uh um to Sean Lane there, and number five, I'll give it to Mitchell Moses, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, much more uh, but uh. A bit uh completion right there from uh, uh from uh, last week, but to be honest uh, uh we didn't really um didn't, didn't really uh had to uh, uh had to uh really judge this game. I feel like that uh we didn't really get uh, tested enough, so it didn't really f feel like a game to me. To to be honest, uh looking back on uh I uh, thinking um I'm um, I'm um, uh, of it right now, and uh yeah, so uh. Moving on to next week, on to Darwin against uh, uh, Nick Fastray's team, uh, Liam Cowboys, Sam Revel, and also uh, uh, the Rugby League uh, ba uh, bandwagoner as well, aka uh, uh, the North Queensland Cowboys up there at Darwin. Obviously, um, the Cowboys um, haven't uh, defeated us um, at Darwin uh, uh, since 2017, when they absolutely just uh, smashed us there. And uh, yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, enjoy this uh, review. I know it was, um, you know, it was a, a little bit short, but you know, uh, not really that, uh, not really, uh, not really that much to really uh, judge from this game. To be honest, it was mostly a bloodbath, and uh, I won't really put put that much uh, I, I energy um, into this uh, our review. And uh, yeah, lads, um, take care. And uh, let's hope that I can get up to 300 uh, 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 subscribers there, as I'm currently on 296. And uh, yeah, lads, um, take care, good night, and peace. I'm coming in. Hot.